the Chargers are copying the Rams. That's why I'm down here. Uh, uh, they sh I don't know why they copy the Rams, but yeah, the Chargers are on the super team. What is this contract? Just to humiliate the Jags a little more. Three years, 47 mil for Cooper Cup. Christian Kirk gets paid more. He has double the numbers of Christian Kirk. This is pathetic, Jaguars. They are absolute clowns. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Yesterday, of course, we'll start it off with Daquan Jones. He got a two-year, fourteen million dollar contract yesterday. We didn't really get to that. Coleman Shellen of gets a two-year contract with the Rams. Of course, a young player. He had some promise last year. We'll see what he can do. Benjamin uh, Braden. We'll see what he can do. I've really never seen him play, but guess you can check him out. He has never played a game. He's twenty-eight years old, and yeah, that's all I really know about him. <laughs> Don't know a lot, and yeah, that's about it. Get his out of here. Alright, now for the other news. No, this is from yesterday. Okay. Um, take, uh, what is it? Is there anything else you got? Oh, yeah. Reggie Robinson, cornerback, claimed off waivers. I guess he could be good. I know he's played a couple snaps. He hasn't been the best, but we'll see what he can do. Jake and Quaid, of course, we already talked about. Will Disley got a 3 or 24 mil if you want to see the money. Marcus Cannon got cut. That's not anything. And, of course, we got Preston Smith. Uh, Tavon Bryan got a one-year contract. Of course, talk about Joe Newboom. Uh, uh, same with Molly Cox, Alexander Loney. This is a big one. JC Jackson, five years, 85 mil, 82.5 He's, he, he is a top 10 corner. I don't think he should get that much money. I Honestly, yeah, he, he is a premium player. He's got to get better at um, defending the deep ball, but once he can do that, I think he'll be really good. He's a beast player, can has very good ball skills, and is a great and can cover pretty well. Alex Cabell got a 40 35 mil, of course. The left uh, left guard for the um, Bucks. he's a pretty darn good player. I like this move for the Bengals. It was not the worst contract, but they knew they got to get a good player, and he was still good one out there. Christian Kirk, four years, seventy-two million dollars. Uh, he's getting paid more than Cooper Cup. I thought it was eighty-two million, but I guess it wasn't that much. But so he has a big contract. He's getting. Let's see. I don't know if it's Kenny Galladay money, but let's see. Okay. He's getting paid almost sixteen a year. He's getting paid a little more than Cooper Cup. Like, ha may well, maybe not as much. Well, let's see. Yeah, he's getting paid more than Cooper Cup. Um, that just won't work, but they needed a receiver, and I guess they were desperate, so they overpaid for Christian Kirk by a lot. Jags are going to regret this in the future. I think this was a bad move. Chase Edmonds, two-year two, two 12 .1. I don't hate this move. They do need a receiving back. And Tua, he's going to be that quick type of passer. I like his release on his passes. So if Chase Edmonds can be that good guy in the back, I think they're good. Ted Karras got a three-year deal. I will be their center. He's been solid his whole career, and yeah. Xavier Woods got a three-year of 15.75. Of course, they need a guy who can cover with the top. Panthers have been struggling that for a wa long time ever since Eric Reed re left. Of course, they had that strong safety. They got a new guy, but they just need a free safety. Xavier Woods can do that for now. He got some good money for it, too. CJ Zama through your 24 mil. I don't know why he went there, but he did, so, like, whatever. Austin Johnson signed with the Chargers, whatever. He's not very good. Keon Carrasen isn't much better at cornerback, but I guess he can be a good death player. Sebastian Joseph Day, that's the guy they needed to get. The Chargers, yeah, they're, they are building a super team, but... So but trust me, Sebastian Joseph Day is pro I wouldn't say he's their best signing, but he's the most va valuable signing because their run defense was just not physical enough. They actually, they just need to be able to hit the run fits better. If they're able to get better run fits and they have the physicality, I think they'll be really good. Because you can hit fit the run perfectly, and if you don't have the physicality on those fourth and ones, you're just not going to stop it. It's kind of simple. Of course, we already talked about Devondre Campbell. Tracy Walker got a three-year deal. Harrison Phillips got a three-year 19.5, which I, I get, um... Um, we'll get to Michael Pierce in a little while, uh, probably at the end of the video, but I think he's actually a good replacement considering Michael Pierce is not the greatest here. Tuba Wokafor, arguably <laughs> the best offensive lineman on the Steelers, got a 3 or 29.25. He's not good, but 
He's solid. He's solid. I'd say he's nothing special, but he can get, get the job done there at left tackle. Probably right tackle though. Carl Davis got a three or forty-four point five. Um, who is it? Was it Bonner? I gotta check the Steelers depth chart. They they had a guy who got hurt to start the season. That was supposed to be their starting left tackle, and um, Tuma Okafor actually got in there. It was good. Who where is it? It wasn't Dan Moore. Zach Bonner. He got hurt and he didn't really do much. But, he was supposed to be their guy. But, Carlton Gibbs got a good deal. Curtis, Curtis talked about money. Mitch Mason Cole, he's not a bad pickup. Same thing with Marcus Allen. These two guys could both be pretty darn good. Uh, Mason Cole got 3 or 15.75. Okay. Justin Bray got a two-year $9 million. He uh, was not good. I'll show you his PFF. Sixty-three point nine. He could have been worse, but I didn't like how he played. But I guess they're just gonna stick with him, which isn't the worst decision. Mark Lewinsky on the Giants. This is a good move for them. He's a solid player, of course. Was in Indy. Did have a lot of help, but if he's up to Andrew Thomas. I think they'll be a good combo. Sandra Wilson, three of twenty-two point uh, oh five. This is an overpay, but what you know what? That actually isn't really that bad of a contract considering his potential. It's not like a great contract, but it is a decent one, so I'm okay with this move. Foy say Kung, big. Um, this is a really good signing for the Jaguars. Foy say Kung is a very, very good run stopper. He he is very good at getting the guys on his on their butt. He's not the greatest cover guy, but he will get better at that. Of course, we'll talk about Miles Jack in a second, but um, this is basically the, repli the replacement. DJ Jones, three or thirty million. I think we already talked about that. Um, he's a good, good D-tackle to replace Shelby Harris. Uh, Teddy Bridger got a one-year 6.5 to back up. Um, Tua, if Tua gets hurt or he just doesn't play well, that's okay. Uh, Lawrence got three years, 40 million. That's a good deal for them. And we'll talk about that for a second in a little while. John Felici only got a one-year deal with the Giants. This is a steal for them. He's a very good guard. I like what the Giants are doing. Finally trying to fix up that offensive line. And they're not overpaying either. Matt Slater, of course, the best special teamer in the NFL. He got his contract. Tim Soto is going to be a defensive tackle, another guy just to make sure we put in this rotation that has been a little bit damaged, but honestly, it's how their defense works. Uh, defense coordinator really likes it. I keep it up. AJ Khan, two year, uh, 8.5 million. He's really regressed since 2017, but I think he's still a good player. We'll see what he can do. Brandon Scherf, 3 of 49.5. Honestly, this is not a bad contract for literally the best offensive lineman in his free agent class. He's like, what is he, 29 or 30? Let's see, he's 29 or 30. Um, good, still good player. He could probably even get better, maybe. Solid player for them. They need to protect Trevor Lawrence. Of course, they got, already got, um, who is it? They got Foyce, Lua Kong. Um, yeah, they got Brandon Scherf, so that's a huge contract for them. Frank Clark, that is an overpay. Um, oh yeah, they restructured, never mind. Yeah, but Frank Clark is signed a two-year, $29 million restructure with Kansas City. He's been such a disappointment since 2018. I don't think he's a bad player, but he's not the same guy he used to be. Tevin Coleman, backup running back. This is just a cheap old contract. Same thing for G off swim. He's a good backup. James Conner got his money. Got seven year uh, million over three years. He really hasn't been an injury concern for that much. He's not, like, made of glass. Wouldn't exactly say he's exactly the healthiest, but whatever. Sean Dean Hamilton got a dirt cheap contract. Nick Folk, uh... Got some money. He's a solid kicker. My, Michael Pierce, we're gonna we talked about this. He's got caught. He um, it, it, it's clearing money, but teams are gonna have to go after him because they do need to go to solid D tackle. This dude's a difference maker. He did regress a little, but I think he'll bounce back. Robinson line one year two point uh four three uh tender with um the Steelers. Good chance they'll get him. Uh, big deal for them. He's a good linebacker. Um, TJ Shark, the fi Lions are uh, finally getting someone along with Amon Rossi Brown. If he can stay healthy, he's a number one receiver. Ten million is definitely what he deserves. Mac Wilson for Chase Winovich. Um, Mac Wilson's a solid linebacker. Chase Winovich is a little inconsistent, but I do think um, Winovich is honestly maybe a little bit of a better move considering that Mac Wilson does get hurt a lot and he misses a lot of tackles. But both these guys have a lot of potential and do make some big plays. So yeah, Duke Riley. Whatever, he's a decent, decent, decent off the ball linebacker. He's definitely good at stopping the run. We'll see what he can do. Hop, D Hop got his con contract restructured. He's not the best wide receiver in the NFL. He's probably the second or third guy. He stays underrated at this point, honestly. But they gotta clear some cap space for other guys. D Four got his um, converted. Um, yeah, basically restructured his contract. They need to do that. Rams released punter uh, Johnny Hacker. Um, I was a little surprised to see this, but I don't really don't know what the heck they're doing with um, their punter for that. But um, Miles Jack got cut. Honestly, the Rams should assign him. Uh, there's got to be teams that are going to want to go after this dude because he's still a great player. Probably was the best player on the Jaguars, but they need to clear cap. 
To sign other guys, My Malik Hooker got a two-year four, eight million dollar deal. He's a solid safety. Of course, he's been injured a lot, but when he plays, he's one of the. He's one of. Um, he's a very solid player. George Jenkins got cut. He's bad. Um, Alan Lazard uh, signed a tender. Preston Williams got a one-year deal. Good depth player. Montrevious Adams, another good depth player. Omid Skids, of course, is their explosive guy. They gave him a cheap, cheap contract, considering he's inconsistent, but he's not bad. J.C. Treader got cut. I know he's getting up there in age, and he hasn't been the same guy for a couple of years. He hasn't been. Uh, He's been resting a little, but, man, he's a good center. One of the best. Uh, J, um, MJ Stewart isn't great. Andrew Whitworth retired. Um, it's kind of sad, but it's also like, bro, retire, you're going to get hurt. Um, they got Joe Nopu. He'll be our tackle. See what he can do. But, yeah. Charles Harris, uh, two year 14 mil. Malik Collins, 217. Connor Williams, 218. Um, these two guys are both solid players. Connor Williams has shown he's a decent guard. Randy Gregory. With the Broncos, five years, seventy million. This is confusing. Um, either way, he's getting to play top dollar. Um, I guess they're not going after Von Miller. This is a little confusing, but whatever. They got Brandon Gregory, Bradley Chubb, good combo. Uh, Oren Burks, two years, five mil, whatever. J uh, same thing with J.D. McKissick. He's a good receiving back. They're not going after good uh, actual running backs, which I don't like the Bills doing, but whatever. Marcus Williams got to play top dollar. Probably the best. Um. Player in the secondary, per se, in this draft class. Five years, $70 million. Landon Roberts got a one-year, $3.25 million contract. Nate Herberg, whatever. Josie Jewell, he um, saw it into the linebacker, two for 11. Young Wake, who got a big contract for a kicker, but he's one of the best in the game. So, whatever. Jeremy Sprinkle, backup tight end. One year, $1.035 million deal. Uh, Bobby King got a two-year, 11. James White, of course, because he's receiving back. 2.5 mil over two years. Um... Per uh, year for two years, TJ Reed got a good contract with the Jets, three or thirty-three. They're going for uh, their guy, Michael Burton, one of the best fullbacks last season. Had a, um, got a good contract. Tyler Larson, uh, um, gonna be their center for um, Washington. He's dirt cheaper. He's gonna at least compete. James Daniels, probably the most um, valuable guy. Steelers picked him up, three years, twenty-six point five. Huge deal for them. Darius Phillips is not that good, but whatever. He got signed. Tim with Terry Godwin. Andrew Wingard is bad. Greg Ward, uh, Ward and uh, Adrian uh, Kaker both got contracts. Open Eye Okoronko, former Rams, signs a one-year contract with the uh, Texans. Maybe he can do something. Uh, Marcus Dav Davenport got um, a restructured contract. Uh, uh, Down LaVille, I guess, got a contract. Um, Z Zaire Franklin, 3 or 12 mil. Cleef Raymond, uh, 2 9.5. Jordan Whitehead, 2 14.5. Farrah Brown, 1 year 3.5. Russell Gates, 3.30. Big contract for him. Tyree Davidson got released by the... Um, Falcons, okay. Shaq Mason uh, got traded to um, Tampa Bay from. Uh, he, uh, they got him to replace Alex Kappa. Um, he for it um, played with uh, what is it called Tom Brady, so that's good. Brian Belaga got cut. Teams are gonna go after him. He's a very good left at uh, right tackle. Of course, some injury concerns, but still a really good player. AJ Moore signs a one-year contract with Tennessee, and then of course Brandon Faison also did. See if we got anything else. Uh, yeah, that's it. Either way, guys, like and subscribe. What we can do, that's going to be the end of this uh, day's recap. Of course, we got some more tomorrow. This was fun. Let's do it again tomorrow.